everyone, welcome back to another video with Arduino. This video is actually a recommendation from a subscriber that commented on my video, which is almost a year old, about my um, ultrasonic motion sensor and LED. And he was wondering if I could implement a button along with these LEDs. So I thought it would only be right to create this sort of traffic system, which you see here. You have the green, yellow, and red lights, as well as the blue and red lights to indicate that there is police supervision. You can also hear a little buzzer in the back and that's just with the implementation with the buzzer. And you can hear that it also alternates with the, with the flickering lights. So now let's paint a picture here. We have our driver, Mario, and he's over here, right? You can see over there if you can see, and the light is green. So it's telling him, okay, you can go a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer. And now it's yellow, so he's gonna, it's gonna tell him to slow down a little. So let's say he's gonna slow down, but eventually he's gonna get way too close and it's gonna show the red light. And you can hear the buzzer that changes pitches along with it. So now today we're just going to learn about more about these LED lights, the ultrasonic sensor, the use of the buzzer, as well as these flickering lights with which use um, traces of the for loop. So. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. So just a quick note about the logic before we hop into the wiring diagram. So what we have here, we have a buzzer and it's, um, and it's synchronized with the change of these lights. I thought it'd be a cool addition since I didn't want to display any lights if there was a greater distance. So when the distance is greater than a certain threshold, I believe if the distance is greater than 30, these lights will flicker and um, a buzzer will sound, basically indicating that there's sort of police supervision, right? So we have our blue and red lights here. Now, what if our driver gets a little bit closer? We have a red light and that's triggered using the ultrasonic sensor and that's for a certain conditional and the pitch is higher. We have yellow and we have green and each of them apply similar for the similar reasons. So now let's get into the wiring diagram. Okay, so here is our circuit diagram. Just a disclaimer, um, these police signals, um, green, yellow, red, these are all just um, fictional and just for like the purposes of this um, project just to show this demonstration. So we have our circuit diagram that I created from scratch. You can find some other templates at Walkby if you're interested. Um, that is the site I'm currently on. So here we have our um, motion sensor. We have connected it to VCC to the 5 volt and also to the ground. And we have these two in here. This one is connected to pit, they're connected to pins 12 and 13 respectively. So besides that, we have our five LEDs here. These are the two LEDs that are going to flicker back and forth to represent the police signals. So we have our um, resistor over here we have them connected to pins eight and nine but the one thing i want you to notice is that here this represents the short side this is what is called the negative side you can find more information on this in my first few videos where i talk about implementing the led the vcc five volt etc so we have our two leds over here we're going to connect the resistor to the negative side which is the short side and then the longer side which you can see in this diagram is bent but the longer side should be longer than the shorter side and we're going to connect that to a pin so we have connected that this blue led to pin nine and you can see i made this um wire blue so that it's easier for you to see and we have our red wire connected to pin eight. Now we also have this purple wire connected to the blue railing or the negative railing of this breadboard and this purple wire is connected to the ground. Now let's move on to our three LEDs over here. This is green, yellow, and red just to um, indicate to go um, slow down and stop. We have our resistors here just like this one connected it to the blue railing or the ground and we want to connect each wire. You can see here 
connect it to pin four, this one to pin three, and this one to pin two. You can see that they're color coded and that is basically it for the LEDs. In terms of the buzzer, we have our resistor connected to this pin, pin five. One thing that's different about this buzzer is that unlike this LED, these resistors are connected to the output. This is what is called the negative side. We're gonna connect that to the negative railing. Okay, now time to look into the code. If you are familiar with Arduino and you've seen some of my other videos, you can see these are the initialization statements. I talked about them in my first few videos, but essentially all they do is initialize the variable to the pins that they are. Integers are in means integer, and these are the various pins and device or, or modules that we are connected to. Distance and duration are going to be zero. We want to initialize all of these as output. Trig, echo are important for the motion sensor. And we're going to use this information later to make some judgments within conditional statements. We have LED1, LED2, LED3, LED4, 5 as output, simply indicating that these LEDs are going to be the ones that shine. And that is what is called output. We have a buzzer, which is the output is going to be a sound. So it's going to be, so that sound is going to be played throughout this um, code. We also have Serial.begin9600, this just ensures serial communication, which basically allows us to gain information from the module, in which in this case is the motion sensor. We have what I said before, we have trig. We want to make sure that our motion sensor is on and scanning so that we can use that to we can use that information to light our LEDs. So we have a duration, echo. This is also part of the motion sensor. Distance of duration 2 to 28.5. Those are some important calculations because the distance is often in a value that we cannot interpret. We have digital write LED 1. And these just show that we want the LEDs to not be lit up at the beginning. Because, of course, we want to light up our LEDs during certain parts. So we don't want all the LEDs to be showing at once. We might want to show the blue and red ones first. And then if it gets closer, we want to turn those off, turn on the green one. And then once it gets a little bit closer, turn off the green one and turn on the yellow one. So that just ensures that everything's off just before we start. No tone buzzer. We don't want the buzzer to sound yet. Just not yet. We have distance less than 10. This distance is, this, these are what are called if statements. I'll, I elaborated more in my um, other video. I'll link it in the description. This just shows if the distance is less than 10, which means that if the distance is super close to the motion sensor, we want to make LED 3 high, which is the red LED. So we want to make sure if it's too close, we just want to show that we want to show the driver to stop or turn or show a red light. And we also want the buzzer to be at pitch 850, which is lower com considering compared to 1000 and 1500. 1, oh. So we have distance less than or equal to 10 and distance greater than 20. So all this is saying is just that we want we want this to be true if the distance is in between 10 and 20. You can see if it's greater than 10, but less than 20, which simply means if the distance is between 10 and 20. If that is true, we want to show the second LED, which means yellow, to slow down. And we want our buzzer to be somewhat high pitched, um, at least higher pitched than the previous one. So we have our second to last statement. If the distance is between 20 and 30, we see the same formatting here. Um, also some explicit emphasis on this and, which means that both conditionals have to be true. So it has to be greater than 20 and it has to be less than 30. And in that case, we want the green LED to show, meaning that the user or the driver can um, drive a little bit closer and the buzzer to be at its max pitch. Now is here else. This is if all of these statements are not true, 
we want to default to this one, which means that if all the rest um, do not work, if it's, let's say, greater than 30, we want this to be, we want this to happen. So we don't want any tone for the buzzer at first, right? But once we start, um, once we go into this for loop, which basically shows five iterations, which means um, that this code is executing five times in a row. So we have a buzzer is equal to a thousand. So we want a high pitch for our buzzer. We want the first light to show. So we want maybe a blue light. We want to wait a hundred milliseconds. Then we want the buzzer to stop and we want the red light to show. So what this looks like is blue, blue light buzzer, no buzzer, red light, and then we want the buzzer to sound once again. So that's exactly what's happening when you have the um, the police lights, you want blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, and it keeps flickering back and forth. And we want sound, no sound, sound, no sound. And then when you put those together, it's blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, sound, no sound, sound, no sound. And it looks something like this. And finally, we just want to print the distances on the serial monitor and wait a second. So now let's look at a demo of this. All right, so this is our demonstration. I'll also be showing the serial monitor as well. So here, Mario is our driver. He sees our um, policed area. And you can see on the monitor as well, he's about 21 um, distance of 21 away from our ultrasonic sensor. This is what those are what the numbers represent on our serial monitor, as you can see on the right. So here Mario is. Um, there's a green light, and he is 21. He's a distance of 21 away. So this is um, accurate because we wanted um, the green light to show in a range of 20 to 30. So this is accurate and also pay attention to the pitch of the buzzer as well. So now let's move Mario a little bit closer. We have a yellow light now. So if you look on the serial monitor, you can see a date, a number of 17, 18 in that range. So that just means that this, so we are, um, or the, our project is working correctly since 1718 is in the range of 10 to 20, so the yellow, yellow light is corresponding correctly. Also, the pitch does sound a little bit, um, it's a little bit lower as opposed to the previous one, so that also is accurate. Now let's move Mario really, really close. And now we have the red light, and this is correct since the red light was only supposed to show when there was a distance of less than 10. And if you can see on the serial monitor on the right, we have a distance of 6, and 6 is in fact um, in between is less than 10. And for all of these, less than 10, I mean, less than 10, between 10 and 20, and then 20 and 30, these are all accurate in the um. In the logic that they show you can also see we have the police lights over here which patrols the area show mario that this area is policed so we have our red and blue lights these are flickering back and forth blue and red blue red blue red blue red and that is exactly what we saw with our for loop right we wanted just a small delay with um repeating this about five times within um the snippet that we showed so this does accurately depict our code and we also have the buzzer in syn synchronized with the flickering so it always stops uh, playing a sound when it gets to red so be no sound sound no sound and then it just keeps going back and forth just like as shown in the code all right, so that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you once again to Mr. Eric Nova 2989 for recommending this project. I really had fun creating this project. And also, Mario, you also saved Mario or any character that you decided to use. Mario, do you have anything Yahoo! to say? <laughs> okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. Um, we learned about LEDs, more in depth about LEDs, the art ultrasonic sensor, and our buzzer. And we're going to be um, creating something similar, maybe something more advanced in the future. And I really hope to use or connect to different um, computers, to sensors, to thermometers, a lot of 
appliances, maybe open a door or something. So st definitely stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want, if you have a project idea or you're interested in something. And that's basically going to be it. 100 subscriber special is going to come soon. I think I'm just going to do some sort of LED display for that. But besides that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.